Hey everybody, thanks for watching Flex Volleyball. In this video, we're gonna talk about the double contact violation when we're setting and why that was probably the wrong call. Now I know we've all been there before. We set the ball and the official blows their whistle and gives that dreaded double contact violation signal and tells us there was too much spin on the ball. Well, that was the wrong call. You can see here in these sets, I have some pretty strange spin on them, but not a single one of them is a double. So if we look at the official rule book with consecutive contacts here, there's no mention of spin. And then it will show the double contact fault. And again, there's no mention of spin for a double contact violation. While I'm mainly making this video for court volleyball, even beach volleyball officials are starting to figure out that they've been making the wrong call. So here's a beach volleyball official explaining how they would call it for beach. discernible two contacts. Okay. Many times people see spin and suggest it's a double. Spin is an indicator, but not absolutely a factor of a double. There can be a great set that has some spin. There can also be a set that has no spin that was a double. It's all about two discernible contacts. So in order for there to be a double contact fault, there you have to see two separate contacts. So one contact followed by a second contact. If they are simultaneous, then that counts as one solid contact. So, officials and coaches, we need to stop calling a double contact just because there's spin on the ball. So let's go ahead and slow down the video of my sets so we can actually see if I am making a true double contact. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, stay powerful, stay consistent, stay safe, and above all else, stay out of the net.